Welcome back to the first 30. We're going to jump right in here because the game opens directly with a cutscene. So I didn't want to I didn't want to skip past that. So we'll uh we'll probably let this play out and then we'll this will explain a little bit about Ages. the game Our we're playing, I guess. Planet, shining with life, the home planet of humanity, according to what they teach in school. Nowadays, I'm the one teaching. I'm Maladin, an archaeologist and researcher in the most prestigious university in the world. And this is Nevis, my assistant. <laughs> I've studied relics, artifacts, and fossils. And my conclusion is clear. Humans do not originate from Aegis, but somewhere else. Our true home planet awaits us far beyond the stars. During my research, I came across an ancient signal, clearly of human origin, emanating from a nearby galaxy. Since that discovery, I've been preparing to go and meet the originator of the signal. We've explored each planet from pole to pole, and now we found it. It's decided. Nevis and I will go to this mysterious planet to uncover the secret of humanity's origins. Except not really. Okay, so this is this is Tinykin. Um another thing that was on game pass that i was like well this looks neat uh i don't really know what to expect from it i think i talked a little bit about that in man eater in that episode in the previous episode about how a lot of these games i set aside like months ago and said like oh i should check this out and then like i don't remember anything that even what i did know i, I don't know anymore so we're just kind of jumping in here um vital signs okay equipment damaged Origin unknown, age undetermined, antenna absent, mandibles atrophied. Is that how you say that? At, at, I guess closer to atrophied? I guess we're in there, so timer me real quick. Uh, the animation in that opening cutscene was pretty amazing. Um, I'm not a big fan of 2D characters in a 3D world, but let's try and get past that. Hey, you, you're finally awake. You came out of nowhere. I was worried you might never wake up. You seem to be... Okay? Sorry, I've never met anyone of your species. Do you need orientation? I've set up something to help you find your way and get used to your equipment. Do feel free to have a look, okay? Alright, I'll leave you some time to get your bearings. I'll see you a bit further ahead. Oh, they're earbuds. Hey, let's jump. Deploy your bubble glider. Oh, you really gotta do that, like, early, though. What the? Oh, they're strong. These do be the tiny kin, I would assume. Wait, the tiny kin are following you? How? They normally wander around the house and ignore everyone, but they seem to like you. Tinykin have fascinating capabilities, and may have finally found someone who can use them. For example, pink tinykin are the strongest. They can push or carry objects. Together, they can even carry they can carry even the heaviest of objects. That'll come in handy. Follow me. See this flower pot? If you throw your pink tinykin at it, they can probably move it and unblock the passage. Research has shown me that an object of great importance was locked under the great staircase, but there's no way in. So I do, I do remember that. I do remember some uh, Pikmin vibes. The 2D characters in the 3D world spaces. 
bothering me. LT lets you hold a Tinykin, then you have to aim and use R2 to throw where you want. Okay. I don't have 30. Oh, he's just gonna tell me the same thing. Okay, so there's gotta be some more somewhere. else I could potentially throw him at? How do I not have enough? Seems very peculiar. I'm missing five. Where? Oh, you can just hold it. Where am I missing five of them? Oh, up there? No, I, I went up there, right? Yes. Can I get up there? Maybe? I don't really know how I would get over there. Am I dumb? <laughs> am I am I just missing something here? Like how do I not have enough? I feel like I feel like things got messed up somehow or something. So I have twenty five. There must be some hiding in like plain sight that I'm just not seeing for whatever reason. Maybe I should ha should talk to talk to oh there's one there they are okay that's that's a my bad I was legitimately concerned for a second there okay you almost threw that on top of me but.
Okay, there's not much else in here. What was this supposed to help us with? first component if only you knew how many years I have waited for this. Oh, by the way, I'm rid me. I'll make a great team. I don't remember how it was pronounced already. Miladane? Workshop, a refuge of knowledge, this isolated retreat. Okay. Welcome to my humble abode. Is that schematic on the wall? Once upon a time, a being known as Arduin lived in this house. Wise and good, many consider him as a deity. I think he was more of a sage. I believe this schematic was drawn up by Arduin himself in order to assemble a machine that could go beyond the house. I spent my whole life trying to find the components, and thanks to you, we, ma we have managed to collect one already. I managed to locate the five others, however, getting them won't be that easy. Your transportation device is damaged, and you need to go home, don't you? In that case, you have no other choice than to help me. Haha! -ha. <laughs> thanks for... Very, all that sensitivity and compassion. Oh, I have some friends to introduce you to. Prattle, the Arduin Museum creator, a real never-ending pit of knowledge. And Sikaru, the nectar brewer who travels mountains and valleys. You should go and talk to them at some point. House is big and you'll get tired walking around. I wasn't able to save your soap board, but I found a replacement. Use it to slide wherever you want and get around a lot faster. It takes a little practice, but I'm sure you'll love it. Hold RB to slide around with your soap board. Try it out, see how it works. I'll see you up top. Oh, I almost forgot. See this adorable furball? One of my assistants. They're not very talkative, but very diligent. Use your soap board to slide along their silk strings and join me. Okay. Interesting. Uh, we're gonna avoid talking to them for now. Still an unfortunate side effect of... of this series is... I'm often like, I don't want to waste a lot of time since we only have 30 minutes. So you're fully operational, come with me, I know where we should start looking. The second component we need to find is a banner located in the city of Sanctar. What if I want to go this way? First. Actually, this is probably just up here to talk to this guy. Yeah, let's let's not do that, actually. My bad. I changed my mind. Where am I, Pikmin, by the way? I mean, Tinykin? Sorry. Here's the entrance to Sanctar, a place of sacred pilgrimage dedicated to the great Arduin. The banner belongs to a pious shield bug named Solaria. This object is very important to her and she won't give it up easily. I have a spare key for Sanctar obtained through totally legitimate means. Okay. I'm counting on you and I can't wait to see all the things you'll do with the Tinykin. Ah. Okay, um... Tenekin won't follow you from one room to another. They're not very brave, but they'll be waiting for you if you come back.
Oh, but he's coming? Great. So, I tried to record another game for the finale. And this, I wound up tossing it for a reason that this game is, like, getting right. And I, I liked that other game as well. Like, I, I was having a good time with it. But it took too long to get to the action. Like, I was just kind of walking around for, like, 30 minutes. And I was like, this, is, this isn't good for, for the first 30. This one, like, we're in there a lot quicker. It's something indie games tend to be pretty good at, I think. Ought to be back in Sanctar. Congratulations, companions. The expedition has borne fruit. What a haul. So many unknown objects and this strange relic. By Ardwin, I feel that... I feel that it is what we need to complete our quest. Hard to say, but I appreciate your enthusiasm. It is indeed about time we solved the mystery of the... Canticle? Echoing through our minds. Generations upon generations of shield bugs. <laughs> oh, excuse me. And Ardwin himself are counting on us. It's World Tour 1995. Play button. This mystery resists all attempts to solve it. Any help you can offer will be appreciated. Speaking of mysteries, our missionaries have just discovered something. A large round relic. Go take a look. If you miss it, you must be blind. This means that the Sanctine Saint Shieldbugs want to broadcast Ardwin's Canticle and make it access. I don't think I've ever heard that word before, to make it accessible to everyone, but how? Something tells me this large circle is the key. Also, I wonder why the little shield bug nearby is so excited. He doesn't look excited, he looks sad as fuck. Okay. Red Tiny can look to blow things up. They explode on contact with fragile objects. The hell are these? Okay, how do I switch between what I'm throwing is now the question. Hopefully it'll tell me at some point. Oh, depth perception is a hell of a drug. As per usual. Oh, they automatically change if depending on what I'm targeting. That's handy. I don't have enough. I need more readies to sacrifice. Is fall damage a thing? No idea what those are. But collectibles are fun to get, so. 
eight. Holy hell. Okay. I have no idea what those are. I probably should have talked to those ants. I didn't want to, okay? I wanted to keep it moving. I like how... open this is. I need more, more readies. Like, again, very early on, they were kind of like... Eh, just go. You know what I mean? They, they didn't really screw around. They just kind of dropped us right in. I'm being kind of stingy at the moment and not feeling like talking to anybody. Um, I don't even know what the hell that is. Yeah, sure, grab that, I guess. I don't know if it's going to be important. It seems like it will be. Oh, okay. Grab this really quick. And I guess we're just delivering some mail. Yo. I want it. I'm very disinterested in talking to any NPCs, unfortunately. <laughs> it is getting pretty late for me. Um, I really wanted to get these last few episodes recorded and maybe I didn't realize I was that tired until like the last like 10 minutes maybe not even maybe closer to five probably would have held off if I had realized that okay so I guess we're gonna have to find more I'll just take all those. You don't mind, do you? I have no idea what they do, but, you know. I don't know what the significance of that was, but I'm sure there, there will be one. There's one that's, like, shaped like a screwdriver or something. What the hell? Or no, maybe we just have to find a screwdriver and bring it over here. That seems a little bit more reasonable, perhaps. Yum, 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 yum. Interesting, this is almost more like almost a little reminiscent of like N64 collectathons, which isn't exactly what I was expecting. It's like if Pikmin was an N64 collectathon game. Yay, I guess. <laughs> about shout outs to VHS tapes it's 
not that unusual, because it's probably late 90s. Just shot in the dark. Because we saw a poster for that band that said 95 tour. Rip DVDs in yet at that point. I mean, they, they might have been a thing, but they weren't, like, really hitting mainstream just yet. using these these reds faster than I can get more yo whatever these are I'm I'm pogging up all right now we're out of reds you hate to see it These guys that I need, I need like 25 to get them to carry some of that stuff or something. No idea what that is. Oh, is that a candle? Kind of looks like a candle. Destroy those. Yeah, let's do that. Where would we want to put this candle? Like, I feel like I should have a end point in mind before I pick something like that up. His jump is very strange. Mostly because not only is it very fast, but there's no... Uh... Dynamicism? That's not like the right way to say it. It's, uh, it's a set height. No matter how long you push the button, he jumps the same distance every time. So that alone feels very strange to me. I just have to get used to the idea of, like, tapping it and then transitioning to holding for the hover. Oh, nice. Pan. Jeez. More and more, give me more. What's in here? Take this. I'll take all of these. Ow. I maybe shouldn't have done that. I maybe should have saved those for the for the gate, but This is a bit of an odd game because
it's neat. But I also feel like it's... Ooh, we gotta find one of the keys. Um, I also feel like it's one of those games that... I'm gonna put it down... Like, at the end of this session, and I'm probably never gonna get the desire to play it again. To be honest. Like, it's neat, I'm having a good time, but I, I don't, I'm not having enough of a good time where I'm like, oh man, I can't wait to play more of this. You know what I mean? And sometimes that's what's so nice about streaming, is it gives me an excuse to be like, to play games that I might have a hard time committing to otherwise. I don't know if I'd necessarily set this, set this aside for a stream game, though. It's kind of interesting, because it's... It's nice, you know? But it's not, like, mind-blowing. Does that make sense? Is that fair? Fair to say? I meant to do that. I knew I knew there were some reds down here. That's that's all there is to it. Don't you worry about it. Also, timer. There it is. Happened to glance over just in time to be like, oh, that's that's coming up soon. Yeah, like I said, this this is it's nice. I wasn't really expecting like an N64 collectathon kind of game. It really is, like, what I think it may have been like if... If Pikmin was an N64 game. It's an interesting blend. Um... I... I like the art style, but I hate... I hate 2D characters in 3D space. Like, I, I do not like the way that looks in, like, basically... I, I can't think of an instance that it's been done where I've been like, Oh yeah, this is cool. I guess if it's like... Well, that wouldn't be... I was gonna say, if it's in a... If it's a side-scroller, then it might be okay, but that's not 3D space, then. It's still... It's 3D background, but not 3D space. I also like that I've been able to completely ignore NPCs. It hasn't been, like, plaguing me with tutorials or anything. Yeah, I don't know, like... I think if I had a, a compelling reason to play more of this, I wouldn't complain about it. But I feel like I'm, I'm probably not gonna do more videos of it, and I'm probably not gonna, like, stream it or anything, but... Top of the halogen, you need... At least two full, so I'd, I'd need more bubbles. It's a it's a good kind of, like, autopilot kind of game, almost. Does, does that make sense? I'm not really thinking. I'm just kind of going. And sometimes that's, like, a lot of fun, but it's it's also not, like, like I said, it's... It's not to a point where I'm like, God, I can't wait to play more of this. What the hell? That's a thing? Okay. Interesting. Anyway, yeah, I... I like it in concept. I just... But I don't like it enough to be like, Oh god, I gotta play more of this. You know, you know what I mean? And I... I feel bad about that. Because there's nothing here that I dislike. 
it, it didn't do anything that made me say, oh, I don't like this. Kind of like how in Maneater, how I kept getting, like, stuck at the surface of the water, and that was really annoying. Like, that was immediately a thing where I was like, I don't like this. There wasn't really anything here that made me say, I dislike this. But it's also not gripping me. I don't know, it's, it's difficult to explain. It's a complicated emotion. Maybe I'll put it on the on the long-term to-do list if I just kind of need something to do to like fill fill in some videos or something and I don't know maybe maybe we'll we'll return to it I worry it would be not great for videos though due to like I said it's kind of like autopiloty I don't think I'd have a lot to talk about it'd be easy for me to run out of things to talk about anyway I'm on, on that note, I'm, I'm rambling right now, so thank you for watching, uh, whether you were watching just this episode or the entire the entirety of this, this season of the first 30. I, I do think this is going to be the finale episode. Um, there's always more games that I'm interested in checking out, but there's also a couple of the ones that I've played that I do want to play more of and potentially do video series of or... I think most of them are videos. I don't think any of them are streams that I'm like, oh, I should stream this. Um, so I need to, like, back off for a little bit so I can actually play through some of those games that are kind of waiting for me. Um, at, at the at the time this airs, I don't know if the Archvale playthrough is going to be uh, airing just yet. I waited too damn long to finish that, and uh, it got taken off of Game Pass, so now I can't finish it, which I'm kind of upset about. I didn't even know it was being removed. So that's 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 unfortunate. Um, but anyway, I, again, I'm, I'm rambling. So thank you, thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. It does help out quite a bit. And uh, I'm sure I'll do another season of The First 30 at some point. It might be a while off, but I'm, I'm sure I'll come up with an excuse to do one between Game Pass and stuff on Steam that I've yet to try out. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'm sure there will be more. But until then, check out some of the playthroughs that I did uh, that branched off from these from these first looks, perhaps. Anyway, thank you again for watching. Take it easy, and I hope to see you again soon.